What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. I just want to focus in on um, you know the, the Battle of Charlestown, let's call it, as uh, Brendan Collier and the uh, Northeastern Huskies get ready to take on Matty Grizzly and the BU Terriers in the championship game of the uh, Bean Pot on Monday. Last night's both games were absolutely amazing. I thought Collier and Grizzly played well. I mean, you know, Grizzly's a little more of a stock player, but got to admit, the uh, Carolina Hurricanes draft pick, Mr. Collier, you know, laying it on the line, a couple block shots, created some scoring chances, and, you know, you need that. Um, you know, Northeast has always been kind of a blue-collar team, and, you know, they're just, you know, part of the reason they're in games, but, you know, haven't won the whole damn thing, um, you know, throughout my college hockey fan. They've actually never won a national championship, but throughout my college hockey fanhood. That's how I always so that's how I always remember Northeastern. And, um, you know, I think he epitomizes that, you know, down to the bone. The one thing I, I'm bummed I, I can't do this week because I'm kind of busy. I wanted to go over to Sullivan Square in Charlestown in my South Youth Hockey jersey, which would be a sight to behold considering, uh, you know, I don't know how the townies would, would, you know, react to that. And I've put on weight since last time I've worn it, you know, considering I don't think I've had that jersey on in six years. So um, it would be a sight to behold, to to be honest with you. I think, you know, the, the women of the greater Charlestown area would be like, it's this guy. But... Uh, you know, and ask people who who are they picking in the battle of Charlestown because I think it's it's going to be a fantastic game, and um, you know I think it's a great time for kids from a city like me, obviously Southie. Even though I spent a ton of time on Ludlow Street with my grandmother when I was younger, so I don't consider myself a townie, but I I'm over there. I'm over there in Bunker Hill. Then, that's all that matters. Um, and you know, I think it's it's a great thing for for urban hockey. You know, it's become such a suburban sport in recent years that it's good to see you know kids from the neighborhood. Playing on the, you know, playing big time minutes on national powerhouses like Grizzly guess would be you, um, you know, can do these great things and you know help, you know, inspire another generation of kids. And I mean, I know that's not why you play. And you know, let's be honest, we're talking about, you know, two twenty one year old kids there. You know, we're not, you know, but growing up, like you know, I remember growing up watching Kenny Roach and Sean Sullivan from Southie play at BU, and you know that, you know, wanting to be like them. Obviously, the skill level wasn't there. But you know, I think it's a, it's a great thing for hockey in Boston. Obviously, the Beanpot's definitely, you know, top hockey moment every single year in the city. And I think Charlestown, um, you know, has a you know big rooting interest here. Uh, you know, can't go wrong either way. So I'm going to hold off making a prediction until this weekend because, you know, we've still got some, some time. I want to weigh a few things. But, you know, I like the underdogs. You know, by underdogs, I mean the Huskies. Great joke, I know, but um, you know I think it's going to be a fantastic game, and um, you know definitely it's going to be tough to top those two games this, last night. But uh, I mean, hey, you know, it is what it is, and we'll see. Um, we'll see what happens. Again, I'm, I'm excited, can't wait to get over there, and hopefully I don't. Um, hopefully it doesn't get snowed out, so I can catch the women's being pot the next night. Cause I didn't miss last night's women's being pot because you know the snow. Anyway, that's all I got in this episode of the Power Play with CJ on the Battle of Charlestown. Stay tuned for episodes of the season and beyond. Later, guys.